dementia researcher with a blog and a rating. Appraising and planning for the next year. Having blogged about the frustrations of almost but not quite funding applications from last year, I thought I'd take the opportunity to outline in a blog, so now it's in the internet and I have to do it, my plans for this year. So this is me giving myself my annual appraisal via my blog. I have always found an annual appraisal both a little scary and quite pleasant. It's not dissimilar to PhD supervision or an upgrade insofar as that you have to talk about what you have achieved over the last year and your planned work for the next. The meeting is facilitated by a line manager who gives you feedback and tweaks and approves your development plans. The review and plan, depending on, upon your job, needs to cover both personal ambitions, skill development and broader development of the work or role you do. Appraisals are pretty universal processes across many professions, including academia. The academic appraisal system tends to focus on academic and educational achievements, external impact and internal citizenship. For an ECR, they're a great opportunity to consider how to move towards the next stage, brackets promotion, what papers or funding to aim for, as well as taking account of all the other stuff we do, like teaching, being on committees, groups and any clinical work we might do like I do. A large focus of my appraisal will be my publications. My goal from last year was to publish at least one three-star paper per year. Now, that does kind of depend on me knowing what a three-star paper should be. I fluctuate in my understanding of it. I know it needs to be original research published in an international journal and preferably with one of a reasonably high impact factor. It should also, where possible, be a larger study with several participants. Qualitative research counts just as much as quantitative and ideally the more groundbreaking, impactful and original, the better. I feel like I've just put a load of adjectives together there. I think some of my research could possibly be three star. So the results from my PhD, which was the first ever randomised controlled pilot trial in speech and language therapy for primary progressive aphasia was published last year in 2023. We had 18 participants, um, well, double 18 because we included their partners. Um, and that was officially published in 2023, although I put it on online. It was online available but in 2022. So I also published a study describing four focus group projects with four different types of rare dementias and brought it together to identify practice implications in speech and language therapy. But I'm not sure if that counts. It's possibly too qualitative. And then finally, I was thinking about a protocol, but I'm really not sure that counts. So I must do more and I must do better this year. Now, I've already told you about the funding stuff. One big disappointment from last year, but I was awarded two small grants. This year, I've already applied for two small grants. I think maybe I need to do some thinking about what to apply for beyond that. Possibly one or two main things. Whether it's the next stage of one of the parts of my study that I'm currently doing, like a future stage, or some funding for a group of international academics that... Um, I've brought together in the speech and language therapy profession who all work on dementia and PPA. We might collaborate on some future work. Now, I, I did a course last year to become an advanced systemic pr practitioner. I've always found leadership courses to be rather basic, given their focus on communication skills. This one was one of the courses, this was one of the best courses I've been on. It really helped me reflect on the systems and teams and team dynamics as well as leadership. I also went overseas to visit one of my mentors labs and I spent some time in Wales at Bangor Uni with another mentor in their research group. I learnt loads. Observerships are a brilliant source of training and education and I plan to do much more work with my mentors this forthcoming year, particularly focusing on developing my knowledge of health economics and implementation science and this will have a direct impact on the research I'm working on for my fellowship. So that's all intertwined. Now, I also went on some courses to support my supervision skills as I've embarked on a new phase of being a PhD supervisor. I'm hoping to take on another PhD student later this year. I've taken on some more teaching too, and this all counts towards my appraisal. 
I really enjoy teaching and I feel I get to be part of a different team that way. A team that talks about the pedagogy of teaching and tries out new and exciting different ways to enhance student assessment and experiences. My external engagement is ongoing in the bit of clinical work I do. What I really need to do is enhance my ability over the next year to record the actual impact, to evidence it. I'm going to take some time out this year to build a log of sorts on this. In terms of internal citizenship, I've been running the Early Career Researcher Seminars in our department for a couple of years now, and I've put my name down for two other committees. I'm particularly excited about one of the roles, and I'm planning to blog about it if it does come off, so watch this space. Now, that feels like a pretty good summary and quite a few goals for 2024. So I'll be off so I can get on and actually set about doing them. Thank you for listening. Join the Dementia Research bloggers and share your own views.